Hello YouTube. Uh, this is the Bronco. I'm sure you've seen it by now. Uh, we did have a little option that we added. It was one of the few things. It is a base model, uh, so it doesn't come with a lot of things. But it does come with this. This is a keyless entry pad. If you know your secret combo, you can get in the car even if it's locked. Those keyless entry pads have been around on uh, Ford, Lincoln, Mercury vehicles since at least the 90s. And I saw a post, a uh, hacker group, whatever, uh, that had found a secret cheat code that will open any of them. And you know me, I'm going to try it out. So this is the secret cheat code. Uh, depending on how this goes, I don't know if I'll link it directly. You'll have to find it yourself if it does work. But supposedly there's no lockout, so you can just enter any string of codes. If you notice, it's like 999111. Like, and somewhere in this code, every possible combination, five-digit combination is there. That's not that much. And I'm also curious how long that would actually take. So, if you notice, a couple things. If you notice, it has 1 through 10, or 1 through 0 rather. There's 10, but each button is two numbers. So there's really only 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So there's really only 5. So 5 possible combinations. And then if we go over and look, let's say your combination is 5, 3, 7, 1, 7. Five three seven one seven. So somewhere in that string would be your code. Uh, yeah, there's no lockout. So yeah, uh, there were several reports that there were no lockouts. However, all the vehicles were from the 90s, and I'm hoping that this 2022 model, they say, hey, you've put in 30 digits. Come on now, you give us a break. So I'm gonna just start punching in codes. So once again. The vehicle is locked. I do have the key, but it's not keyless entry. There's none of the touch handle here. Let's try it. It just made a noise. I don't know if that has anything to do with the lock or if that's like an emissions evac purge or something going on there. I'm going to keep at it. One eternity later. So, lovely enough, my phone died, but let me show you something. <laughs> I don't know how, what to do with this information again. Uh, I sat there and punched in numbers for the better part of 10 minutes, and I did not know the access code, but it is somewhere along line 40 on that page. I'm not going to post that code. Uh, it's out there if you guys want to hack it. Uh, as far as safety... I don't know. As far as safety goes, you're going to be some guy standing on the side of a car for the better part of 20 minutes or a half hour. Um, I'm surprised there's not a lockout programmed into that because that's pretty vulnerable to that style brute force attack. Uh, I don't know. I really wish uh, Ford would put, I mean, I understand give them a little bit of space, but the fact that there's no lockout and it works on a brand new car. I understand, you know, in a 90s car or something, when they were first introduced, I think it actually might even be in the 80s. Uh, but, uh, yeah. 
you see someone standing on the side of a Ford, uh, Ford or Lincoln, I believe both of them have this and it's the same, uh, it's apparently vulnerable to a, a brute force attack where you just punch in every possible combination. Uh, is it practical? No. It's much faster to simply smash a window uh, and cut the catalytic converter off while you're there. But it's something to consider and it's something you might want to be aware of. Uh, one extra thing, while I'm thinking about it, this module is not actually pinned to the door. So you could take it off and I saw a video that I'll link where someone actually installed it on the gas door. So you still have that option to get in the car if you lost your keys but it's not obvious and you're gonna look very weird if you're standing next to a car punching in keys for 20 minutes. I mean, I guess if you're parked in the middle of nowhere and no one's around, which this vehicle could end up in places like that very easily. It matches my uh, organizers up there. But yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, stay safe, stay secure. And part of being secure is known vulnerabilities. Blah. Part of being secure is going to be knowing vulnerabilities and just be aware that if, if you see somebody standing there for a long time, you might want to ask them. I really don't think it's going to be a popular method because uh, it's pretty high, uh, what's the word, high, uh, high stakes, but hey, maybe you lock your keys out and you don't know your code and you don't have your key, well maybe that'll help you get in. Hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.